You guys Dude, ready? Sit, I'll just pull the wire. You guys into fucking my dick. ready? Let me get amped. You ready, Joe? Joey, this. go. <laughs> Wait. Be funny now. Okay, start it back over. No, no, no. Just go. <laughs> I'm freezing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a deer in the headlights over here. Maybe we should restart. <laughs> All right, fuck. Let's just do it next week. You know, Let's get out of I'm here. Tired. I'm tired. Maybe, tired. <laughs> Maybe we should switch this thing to a monthly. You know, yeah. it's yeah. a bit much. But we do an eight hour one once a month. Once yeah, a one, month, we're yeah. here for eight straight hours. <laughs> like it's a job. Yeah, <laughs> confessing to like horrific things by the seventh hour. <laughs> so it's like, listen, I didn't see the kid. He ran out in front of my car. He's on a damn skateboard. On his fucking skateboard, and you know, at that time, I really wasn't a big fan of skateboarding. <laughs> he was jogging. At night, wearing all black. <laughs> Michael Clay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just, you start to disrobing like that one lawyer going on that big, I feel washed anew, Michael. I'm baptized in the new religion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joey just wandering a field with a big bag of baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> just ranting about right corruption, but you really just want to get like eighteen year old farm pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we should. Why don't we do this announcement right up the t at the top, Joey? Uh, uh, Joey, oh, for me, there's been a okay, lot going yeah. on recently, and Joey, uh, yeah, he's got some serious, this is, serious yeah. news. This is actually thank you for reminding me. Of course, of course. Um, so on the last two episodes in a row on the podcast, I've made big announcements about. Um, if you're a hot chick, contact me on Instagram for sex. <laughs> yeah. We've been here for it. What's so funny? <laughs> I, saw, I was thinking of something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thought I said. But anyways, seriously. What ended up happening was 20 or so, 30 dudes contacted me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fat dudes, Mexicans. And oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fat dudes, Mexicans. Fat dudes and Mexicans. <laughs> maybe throw what in, makes maybe, up this yeah, country? Maybe, maybe throw in another race that you're mad at. Fat dudes, just Mexicans. not throw it all on Mexicans. That was the demographic. Any Cambodians? I'm not saying anything against Mexican people. That's who hit me up. Okay. But so anyways, um, I'm at my wit's end. And if something doesn't give, I'm quitting the podcast. <laughs> No, on this, this is, one, this I want is my last try. Side. This is this is my last serious. try. If serious. you don't get any pussy from the podcast in the next week, yeah, Joey's quitting the podcast. <laughs> if, if I don't get pussy, uh, <laughs> this is a message in a bottle to all our. This is kind of it's like okay, uh, okay. You're making a goof out of this. <laughs> I'm not. It sounds like it, it sounds it like you're message, trying to do. Is it a not joke. a message in a bottle? It's very it interesting. Is. Yeah, yeah, this tactic. The dirty, dirty to cry for help to to strong arm women. In an auditory whoa, whoa, way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Strong come, arm. He's not strong arming. He's mentally strong arming women to come fuck him. It's like he's the least. So he can continue this is the being, most vulnerable on the, being on the podcast. Seen, vulnerable. Yeah. I'm a he's sweet. Joey's very out vulnerable there. today. He also keeps strong talking about arming how stinky would be he is. Like, he thinks he smells. <laughs> well, so what happened was Devin like cornered me this morning and he's like, oh, let me come over and use your gym because he's a bum. <laughs> he doesn't have access. To, he doesn't have access to his own gym. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he's I'm like, a I'm gym hobo. Yeah, yeah. he like doesn't. He won't pay money for any of his own. Yeah, uh, no, nah, he use everybody's he's thing. A, he's a yeah. gym weasel. Planet Fitness like ten bucks yeah, a month. He's a gym exactly. weasel. Yeah, Planet Fitness. It's full of fucking homeless people and shit. <laughs> They're all just washing up in the in the in the bathroom. Planet Fit. I'd rather work out at a Starbucks than a Planet Fitness. <laughs> Go work out at the playground. Yeah, where I'd rather work out at the park. Oh, like those black guys on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> where those the guys at the park, and it's like a it's like a ninety year old Chinese man <laughs> or a fucking gangbanger. Yeah, gangbanger doing the push ups where you do a, you go above the bar. He's got like a twenty four <laughs> pack. Yeah. He's sixty years old. Yeah, you, yeah, you figure he's seventy. Yeah, <laughs> he's he has working. a big white beard and a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always screaming like, "You don't need no gym membership to get this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need no membership. <laughs> you see extreme poverty." Yeah. <laughs> Poverty fitness. <laughs> I'm crushed by the system. I got cut in a cell. He has the whole like street routine where he's like, he, here's how you do it on the sidewalk. Like, yeah. yeah. But anyways, Sorry. so Devin, right? A user, mm -hmm. a known user, mm -hmm. as his uncle Stan always says, you're a and user. He's always had a, a manipulator. Hey, guys, Devin, I'm, you're a user. He's a groomer. He grooms friends for their gym. Exactly. <laughs> and so I said, I, <laughs> the grooming <laughs> Joey, the whole friendship yeah. was set up for me to get, finally get into a gym for You're free. You're the Gis Ghislaine Maxwell of gyms. Yeah. <laughs> He's like the Kaiser Soze of setting me up for a gym membership. <laughs> 
He's gonna like walk away at the yeah. end of this and like not even be funny. You're he's just <laughs> like he's just like I got you. You dropping a coffee mug full of like pre workout. Yeah. yeah. But so I'm So you're sick of the Mexicans in your DMs. Mexican men. Look at this dirty pervert Devin who I won't even go into the kind of creepy stuff that I saw him do today a lot of perverted wow. weird weird stuff and I I've I've got the best manners out of any of our friends guaranteed but so I said Devin you can't use my gym I'm walking and I have to go home and shower and I got a whole routine you can't just interrupt my life mm. to use the gym whenever you want and he said I don't care he said, <laughs> he said, if you want to be my friend, he goes, if you ever want me to talk to you ever again, mm -hmm. you'll skip the shower, you'll come over, mm -hmm. and you'll do the podcast. And so I couldn't shower. And if I stink a little bit, I showered yesterday. I, I actually just came from the gym as well. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Planet Fitness. Nice. Oh, really? I'm doing the. I'm doing the really. I'm starting working out again, so I don't get like anxious. Yeah, and it's I'm, good. It's good. I'm doing the the old guy workouts where you just put the treadmill on like three percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, this is it. This yeah, is that's the healthiest way to <laughs> work out. Honestly, that is the healthiest way. To work. I used to just take walks. You yeah. know. Well, this was this is up a hill. You do a little incline. Yeah, a little, do a little incline. And then sometimes it gets tired. I put it back down yeah, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You know. It's the Planet Fitness. Yeah. But so back to my cry for pussy. Sorry, yeah. yeah Joey, let's go. Um, desperate for pussy. Oh, yeah, yeah no, we got to get back to talking about walking. You know, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, A guy is sitting here spilling his heart out, and I Devin's know. like, oh, let me talk about how I used to walk. Like, yeah, wow, you can walk. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Insane I to know. bring that up I'm in the sorry. middle of what I was saying. I'm sorry. Um... But, so, how do I even spin this now that you fucking soured the whole thing? You, you, you know, you poison I mean, the well Jesus. on me. You poison the damn well. Mm -hmm. um, but so anyways, <sighs> I'm quitting the podcast if I don't get puss off this message. <laughs> What's the time frame? How long do they have to send you messages? Because what if people, next week. people listen to it throughout hours. the week? 40, 40 hours. 48 hours. It wow. doesn't come. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this man needs to come. This is like speed. By the way, I have chicks. Well, I don't want to say that. The episode doesn't even come out until Monday. No, no, no. So we have like 40. By the okay, way, no, from you're Monday. Quit, but you're not even right. going to give yourself a chance. From Monday, 48 hours after. You're hitting uh, a stopwatch as soon as the episode So by comes when out. it goes live, yeah. I hit a stopwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Tick, tick, tick. Yeah. And then I will, I'll never talk to Devin again <laughs> if I yeah. don't get laid in 40 So a woman's got to wow. watch the whole podcast. No, That's two is. hours right yeah. there. Got to buy a plane ticket, fly out to L.A. Wait, wait, maybe she lives in L.A. Or maybe she lives in L.A. Do maybe she takes to, the bus. How soon do they have to be in front of you? Like, puss also, out, she has like, to dre be like drenched. Also, she has to be a or higher. <laughs> yeah, dr they <laughs> drenched in front of you. Yeah, how soon do they have to be drenched in front of you? That's another stipulation. They have to be drenched, drenched. while I'm fucking them. <laughs> and what do you want them to say? Like, take me? Like, take me, big man. Oh, take me. Oh, take me, big man. Oh, is, oh, is he Joey, like you're so strong. That's why I was saying he's a pervert. Take That's why me, I don't strongest even... strongest man in L.A. Take me. <laughs> That's why I might quit the podcast anyways if he's going to be a weirdo. Do you need them to be all, like, just their... No. Oh, <laughs> legs out in front of you, just going like, I love your stinky body, Joey. <laughs> He's like trying to wreck this for me. I mean, I, I feel like some women would be into People that. People love this. Yeah. Women love That'll this. That'll help you get the women. Like, if you say, like, oh, no, I want a woman to, like, get a whip and hit me and, like, right. you know, call me a piece yeah, you of shit. I'm going to go home. <laughs> you should. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. Take, come on, come on, Joey, Joey come, come on, come on, come on, please, come on, Joey, World friends, come on, come on, the pussy will come in, come on, boy, it's rough to watch. You need to give How do one. I even go back into it? Because I wasn't even finished. Okay, keep going. I'm sorry. I apologize. So no, you don't have to be squirting or drenched or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're just in this for the conversation. If, no, but have be nipping out. Okay. Okay, you need them to nip a little bit at least. Yeah. To be a double D. A little bit of wetness. Oh, double D. Double D or high. I'm behind to, that. Yeah. Do they have to be double D? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a requirement? <laughs> Are you gonna like get a like a measuring tool out? Yeah. You, you, you You're like, let me like, see that bra. Have a tailor <laughs> like with a me. Slave owner. <laughs> yeah, you have an old Italian man. Yeah. Like, uh, Mr. Yeah. Joey, this is only one D. On <laughs> <laughs> speaker, I go not looking. <laughs> not looking good. Go, these, these are C's at best, Costa. 
I go, get the hell out of here, sugar tits. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a supermodel. You're just like, boring. You're checking her gums. I go, do you even listen? Do you even listen? But no. <laughs> do you even listen? Will you take will you take bolt ons? Big big fake tits? Yeah, like fucking Or do they have to be all natural? Oh, double like a D's. fembot? Yeah. Like can they have fembot tits? <laughs> where they barely move? And they yeah, they're just like round circles. Just round circles and they shoot people. <laughs> <laughs> Joey. I, I hate you guys objectifying women like that. Oh, God. It's actually making me sick. I know. I might go home. I'm not kidding. Really? I'm being serious. <laughs> Bolt-ons is what you said about a woman's body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, sorry. I did, we're, we all been watching a little too much Andrew Tate. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, yeah. So chill. You're on. the anti-Tate. Yeah, because I support all women. Mm -hmm. You are extremely horny lately. It's crazy. You, first of all, I don't even. Joey will like look up at the clouds and be like, look at that. looks like a pair of tits, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> look at that cloud. That's not true. <laughs> It's not true at all. And anyways, I think I'm done with this. I, I've i put it out there 48 hours after the release of the episode. Nobody hit you up last week after you made your announcement? Yeah. Haven't you gotten laid off the podcast before? Yeah, he's been killing it. Yeah. <laughs> you know who hit me up? A guy named Nain. So here's what happened. Nain? I, I got a bunch of people that just followed me. And I checked all their <clears throat> profiles. I'm like, all right, hot chick, no. Is that a hot chick? No. Mm -hmm. All fat guys. And then why were they hitting you up? Gay guys? You're saying? No, they're no, they're not messaging me. They're just like they must have heard. The they were name just like, "Hey, like, brother, oh, follow me. We like we, we oh. like the podcast." Oh, I thought they were hitting you up. They were like, "Heard your sex announcement? Like, no, I'd love one, to get in on that, brother." <laughs> I got, Hoping I got to make some exceptions for a fat. <laughs> I got like Mexican. a message request because it's a private profile, mm -hmm. and it was Nain, and I'm like, "Is that a man's name or a woman's name? I don't know." And the message was like, hey, I was born and raised in Koreatown. And like, hey, I heard an episode, you you lived in Koreatown. It's so crazy. Um, next time I'm in LA, let's hang out. And I'm like, this is it. This is a hot chick with double Ds. <laughs> Nine or up. Right. And then I requested him back. And it was another fat Mexican. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. They, I mean, I'm sure he has double Ds. Yeah. <laughs> God, everyone in the nosebleeds at Dodger Stadium wants to fuck Joey. Yeah. Come on, you don't want to... You, you, <laughs> you want to titty fuck a yeah. cello? You don't want to titty fuck a man named Horatio? <laughs> <laughs> Who has a sweatshirt with yeah. Vin Scully's skeleton on it already? <laughs> He could wrap your dick in. By the way, this yeah. is the funniest thing ever. I was walking uh, at the Olvera Street Marketplace. Yeah, yeah. And it's a it's just like a, a great Mexican marketplace where they have like a bunch of stands where they sell like whatever like serapas and you know me, you know what are those? maracas? Well, serapas and yeah, yeah, maracas. Yeah. What, they shit. sell whatever, right. everything, Both. all Mexican stuff, tambourines, yeah. tacos, <laughs> Mexican, yeah. Yeah. Mexican stuff. Yeah. yeah, but they were selling. <laughs> there these Mexicans selling Mexican <laughs> stuff. No, I, 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 catalytic converters, Honda <laughs> Civics. It's like my favorite neighborhood, by yeah. the way. Just a guy going Mexican <laughs> stuff. Five dollars. Hey, Mexican stuff. <laughs> he's grilling a catalytic converter. He's putting like mayonnaise on it, like elote. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican stuff. We, uh, we have sombrero with iliote sauce in the main name. <laughs> it just says Mexican, Mexican stuff. Five dollars. Yeah. That San Andreas font. Yeah. Mexican stuff. Yeah, spray painted <laughs> onto a sign. <laughs> But so they, they, <laughs> but they were selling T-shirts of Vin Scully as a skeleton. Really? Already? Well, it's because wow. Mexicans are obsessed with death. And Vin Scully. They're like, yeah. Vin, they're like Vin Scully. He's now spooky. <laughs> <laughs> My tia was haunted by Vin Scully. <laughs> At our old abuelita. Because <laughs> I swear to God, my, my abuelita fucked Vince Scully last night. He was in our adobe, <laughs> which know. is a traditional home made of clay. <laughs> Everything. Mexicans can't wait to turn you into a skeleton. They're obsessed with that shit. He Vince, just like Coco. He's, <laughs> he's a picture of Kobe, but he's a skeleton. A donkey. <laughs> 
Because he's a death. <laughs> because that's we, he can only understand death in like a cartoon. But his eyes have that Aztec design on it. <laughs> but he's a skeleton. But he's a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joey, what else? What else did you see out there? Oh, they were selling a, a hoof that you a could hoof? drink out of. Like a, yeah. Like an animal hoof. Like a, the bottom of a cow's leg, like uh, <laughs> under the knee to the hoof with the hoof. fur still like on those, it. Like it's those long drinks hoof. in Mardi Gras. It was like a, hoof. Hoof. Yeah, it's like a Mardi Gras. It's a hoof. hurricane. Yeah, it's a hurricane <laughs> with the little lanyard around your neck. Uh, but yeah, it was like a real hoof. Yeah. And it, with the fur on it still, like the actual cow's fur on it. Yeah, and yeah. then they hollowed it out, and it's a bottle that you can drink out of. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's pretty sick. That's it was awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Next, next like, stuff kicks ass. They're like, yeah. this is Paul Walker's skull. <laughs> 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 you, would you like a margarita? <laughs> you can drink it out of Paul Walker's skull. <laughs> he is about family. <laughs> the, the greatest actor to ever live. <laughs> Margaritas make me fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> We're selling skulls and uh, double XL t shirts. <laughs> this one's Vin Scully's skull, and you can put it on your stick shift when you change gears. <laughs> Skulls everywhere. Dude, we got in trouble. <laughs> what, were, Joey, were you with us when we walked into that bar? It was like oh, yeah. an hour Joey's or two after bathroom. Vin Scully had died, and we were joking. Yeah. We were making a joke. We were we were joking that like he had been me too, and like he like <laughs> right. Yeah, I get, I get what you you're get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just walking in, laughing like, yeah, you know, he was being me too. He was 96. He just couldn't. He, could, yeah, he just he couldn't, couldn't keep take it, it anymore. Grabbed his desert eagle. And we walked into the drawing room, this like little hipster bar, and all these like white people that have probably lived in LA for you know seven years from Iowa. They got like all like righteous with us, and they were like, "What are you saying about Vince Scully?" Yeah, and we yeah. were like, "Oh, we're just it's a joke between us." Like mm-hmm. they really. They really pulled the like you're saying that in the wrong bar. Yeah, they, they yeah. literally like, were like you in tough. the wrong bar, boy. <laughs> yeah. Like it was that type yeah. of thing. Dino Stamatopoulos yeah. drinks at this bar. It was like <laughs> man, it's like of course I love Vince Scully, but it's Dino. <laughs> The guy from Who's Line drinks here. They're like, you don't even know where you at, boy. David Allen Greer comes in here every night. <laughs> well, Dan Harmon did bingo here, retard. Chris you gonna talk Pontius, dirt? Uh, butt chugs in our bathroom. <laughs> you said that in the wrong bar, son. I once saw Moby drink a wine spritzer here, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Danzig passed out in that booth. Because he didn't take his diabetes medication. <laughs> you don't know where you are, feller. <laughs> Chelsea Peretti sat right in that seat just last night. <laughs> what you know about Jenna Elfman? <laughs> Samantha B. <laughs> Sit here. Yeah. Dharma and Greg, asshole. <laughs> she was here playing Bob Seeger on the jukebox. <laughs> playing with the dart machine that's made out of uh, plastic. <laughs> Because the real darts would be dangerous. You one of them big city folk, aren't you? <laughs> Just old, old West Saloon in East LA. <laughs> old West Saloon in like fucking Hollywood. Right. We're just alt loser comics, go. <laughs> exactly. Like, here's a picture of Chandler Bing doing a shot with the bartender. <laughs> You're gonna have it. That's a that's a signed chick uh, chipmunk shirt from David Croft. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. Before she got SNL, Melissa Villasenor used to do impressions right over there. <laughs> She'd be practicing them. Spits in a yeah. spittoon. <laughs> <laughs> The L.A. hillbilly, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Pat Oswalt used to come in here and show me how he's going to kill his wife. (laughs) (laughs) Kidding. 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 I got me too in that bathroom (laughs) stall, partner. (laughs) I got canceled on Twitter right there in that stool. (laughs) Brian Callen raped the woman in that bar right over there. He's only it's only allegedly, but I uh, I might have seen some. Once saw Eric Andre get jacked off by Rosario <laughs> Dawson right there. Chris Harwalk curb stomped a feller in that parking lot. Harwalk, Chris Harwalk, Harwalk. Chris Harwalk. Sorry, I can't talk so good since my gums. 
My gums went south, brother. Because <laughs> Alec Baldwin blew a woman's brains out. <laughs> <laughs> you can still see <laughs> Skull fragments still it, on the paint. He didn't pull the trigger, though. He never pulled it. <laughs> they weren't even filming anything. <laughs> Aziz Ansari got real upset at a woman for wasting his time <laughs> at that stool right over there. Aziz Ansari. She, he was quite upset. I don't know how that panned out, but he was quite upset. <laughs> he ate her pussy for two hours, he said. Yeah. He said, I'm going to stick my fingers down his throat. I said, Aziz, get consent, brother. <laughs> Get verbal consent. <laughs> Get verbal consent, brother. There's only two things we care about in this town. That's good liquor and verbal consent. <laughs> Asking along the way. Yeah. That's that's Los Feliz, West Texas, brother. Los Feliz, West Texas. <laughs> I just need a single malt and someone to check in with me during sex to make sure that consent is still happening. You don't even know what you just walked into, boy. Just last week, I saw Bryce Dallas Howard complain about the pay gap with Chris Pratt. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza used to make hygiene kits for the homeless right there. And that very she you're disgracing with your slander about Vince Scully. <laughs> She goes, you fucking smart ass. Slandering Scully. Vince Scully. Scully. You sit there, you talk here. Not about in this the, bar. About Vince Scully. <laughs> not, not, this is a Dodger bar. I've been, I've been doing post-production editing on reality shows for 45 years <laughs> in this city. And I ain't never met somebody that likes a you. Likes <laughs> 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 oh, shit. You better oh, check your fuck. tone, boy. This ain't F Boy Allen. <laughs> There's a Dodger bar. You ain't even got a staff writing job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, inside God. Baseball West Texas Bar. Yeah, that's great. I love this bit. This is the best character ever. <laughs> the elitist West Texas bar owner. The, the, the Hollywood alt comedy <laughs> bar owner you better not in say, West Texas. He goes, Nev from Catfish plays trivia here every Tuesday. <laughs> where you think you're sitting? That seat's for irreverent customers. Yeah, that's where we're tired and fair there, there in Glacier, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and then we paid him $600,000. <laughs> Had to close UCB West, brother. <laughs> the, the 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 oil deposits dried up. He goes, he goes, where you think you walking into, Brody eight one eight? He goes, Carson Daly sucked his first dick in that glory hole in the in the bathroom. He goes, enjoy it. <laughs> I saw Carmel. I saw Jimmy Kimmel do blackface Carl Malone <laughs> over by yonder bureau. <laughs> Used to practice it in the mirror in the bathroom. Him and Sarah Silverman come in they doing all, blackface all the time. They all did it. They all did it. They all did it, brother. This whole you bar used to just be nothing but blackface from, from all comedians. <laughs> and it was okay back then. It was okay, but now they're all insane online. <laughs> but at the times, it just, I'm just shining a glass the whole time. <laughs> times are changing, brother. Time wins a time. <laughs> uh, how y'all feel about the new Migos? <laughs> <laughs> Culture. Culture. I get it. I'm hip. I watched Atlanta. <laughs> you listen to the Anderson Park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> so, anyways, 48 hours. <laughs> I quit 48 the hours. I'll detonate a bomb inside this studio. Yeah, and I'll kill people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like to think you're the villain from Speed, but you're trying to get sucked off the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, there's the clock is ticking. I'm sitting at home, um, chubbed up, <laughs> with my phone out, refreshing Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps and I'm texting down. Devin every two hours, going like, "Great podcast, <laughs> great listeners." I go, "Nice little audience you built, huh?" Can't even get sucked off. Yeah, I go, "Cool, yeah, this was all worth it." For sure, it was. Just wait. And Devin's buddy. just going like, dude, like uh, we're like still building it. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you just gotta just wait. Need patience, yeah, dude. This it's, is your version of the Patreon dude, taking everyone, off. Everyone says like we're bound to blow soon. Like, yeah. What if you blow it? What if you blow it? 
like if you quit too early and then like in a year or two, like, yeah, would like, you let me back you're, on? You're like the original drummer Maybe, of the Beatles. But if I quit yeah. big, and then it blows up, would you, you let could, me back on? You could be the betrayal. Dave Mustaine of the podcast. I'll no, let me back on. Better. Also, why would people remember you if you're not on? No, but I'll come back on and then I'll I'll do another one of these. But then they would just know that you're just coming back for all the for the pussy, and they would like be again. They wouldn't like want to give it up. <laughs> Yeah, like you're not you're, doing you're, it. Right. You're not a part of the there's such yeah. loyal listeners. You're not doing loyal. It. They yeah. be like, like I'm not attracted to like loyal members. Yeah, yeah. Like, doing yeah. it for the love of the game. They want people who honesty, are, yeah. authenticity, just for the chicks art of really, podcasting. Yeah, chicks really like the guys art. that are yeah. into it. Yeah, it's a high art. Mm -hmm. jo Joey's motivated by pussy. What do you want? I, from I come guy? down here ready to play every game. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the zone. I clear the mechanism <laughs> down here, dude. You fall down nine times, get up ten. I'm actually. That's how I treat podcasting, guys. You know what? I'm gonna I throw up outside the door every time <laughs> like yeah, Bill like Russell. Eight it's like yeah. eight mile, yeah. <laughs> but no, let's uh it's a very funny goof, but let yeah. me just kind of okay, lift the yeah. veil. Lift We're the all veil. hitting a sign while we walk in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me it, says like it says retard on it. <laughs> before we yeah, play like a retard today. Play like a retard today. But so anyways, you know, I, it's a really funny goof. We have guys, a cum joke quota. We're like, we, we're yeah. short. We, yeah, have a sign, just... we have a sign that says, don't actually say the slur that we have. <laughs> okay, but guys. Sorry, we have a sorry, sign that says, sorry. allude I... to the slur. <laughs> Remember, N word. <laughs> sorry, Joseph. Sorry, sorry. Maybe that was a funny riff. And I, <laughs> I was so busy trying to clear the air on this thing that I didn't hear it. But hey, I, I didn't think it was funny. You got cum brain. Well, no, it's not true. What I'm trying to do is say, I hate to do it because it's such a funny joke, but I was joking. Okay. Oh. What, no, no, hang on. Because <laughs> some, you know, I think it's a creepy thing if people actually think I'm being serious. It sounds kind of creepy. Right. And yeah, you're pathetic. not. A, you're a man of God. You're like a prude. I'm Catholic. You don't, you don't, you're yeah. Catholic. You're you don't. You don't. Catholic. You don't. You never kiss and tell. You're a good man. You don't. You. You really. Are, I've never known you to be the guy. The guy that oh, talks about pussy. Yeah, those are the zins. Can I have one? Yeah, you want one? Jake, can I get a beer? No. <laughs> <laughs> not till I get some pussy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so uh, what I was saying Thank is that. Doesn't. What I was doing here was a bit of performance art. It was a character. <laughs> it was the guy who acknowledges his uh, motivation for creating something. You know, in reality, right? Everyone who creates anything There's is no doing point to doing puss. anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm being, I'm, I'm kind of acknowledging that it's self-aware. It's kind of a, a thing like that. But you know, if you do want to message me, well, you know, we can talk. And so, but it was a goof mm -hmm. and a character. But message me. And yeah, we'll I get talk. it. You get yeah. it. it yeah. kinda, it's the like, only reason I draw is to just get pussy. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honest, mm -hmm. but sick. <laughs> <laughs> and wrong. Yeah, you're going to turn on me? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when people want to fuck me for what I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's shallow. It it's and shallow. it's not why yeah. I'm in this. No. Yeah. No, all the DMs I get are just people being like, I was going to kill myself today, brother, but <laughs> your, your re retard Korean soldier bit got me through another work day. <laughs> like, I'm in a, a, a wheelchair and I got a cleft palate, yeah. um, but goddamn, when you guys uh, attacked Roseanne. <laughs> no, people were hitting me up. They were like, hey, man, like I've, I've lost a, a friend recently to, to, to suicide and... I was going to kill myself until I heard you guys make fun of that rape victim at that church <laughs> in uh, episode 43. <laughs> we're, we're creeps. Hey, you know. But I'm doing a character. You guys are li like, not Chase, but you two. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine, authentic creeps. Yeah, these two are creepy no. bozos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, They're creeps and what bozos. The hell, what the hell did I do? What did Richie do? Yeah. Richie's a man of God. I'm so, Joe, Joey's well, just a persuasive guy. I got to go along with him. Yeah, you, He's got you, a charismatic personality. It's so creepy. I just got like thrown into your wake. That's really what happened. Mm -hmm. You got sucked. I think under. it might have been that. Yeah, Joey, check this. Devin's just got such a. I think you should start doing this to uh to prostitutes on the street. <laughs> Watch this video. I think this would be a great game. Hey, we got to adopt this. Oh, where they blow? Go on. This guy calls a prostitute over. And how much for your time? One twenty. What, what do you, but you do anything? Blowing sets. Nah, but I need somebody to wash my truck. <laughs> you think you can do it for 120? To wash my truck? Yeah. 
wash your truck. Yeah, in and out. I'm not washing nothing. Really? Yeah. Oh man, man, that's great, <laughs> man. <laughs> Where did, is that a world star hip hop? It's like, is that the front page? Yeah, it was on the front page. That's the meaning, and I think it's wrong. <clears throat> yeah, that was like that old joke back in Texas too. Was the Just old uh, have a hooker come over? Yeah, a hooker told me she'd uh, she'd uh, for one hundred dollars I could do whatever I wanted with her for an hour. Mm-hmm. So I gave her a hundred dollars and had her paint my house. Oh, I didn't know that this was a fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. A PG Jeff Dunham <laughs> joke. You've done like an old dad yeah. joke. You thought it was edgy. Yeah, I like, didn't think it was edgy. I just thought yeah. it was. I thought he had good. He was. He had. He had balls. <laughs> you're like, let me show you this email forward I got. <laughs> Guys, have you seen this email I got from my grandfather in 2002? It's you, you throw knives at Osama bin Laden's head. <laughs> let me show you this jib jab I got at Mitt Romney. <laughs> Yeah, that was like a who who sings that song? Oh, let's keep it that way. Very good. Oh, okay. Very good. Now I got something real. All right. Jace, do you remember this, uh-huh. that tiny that tiny girl that they used to hang out at the comedy store? Kind of like a midget E who had like long limbs? Yeah. Yeah, and she, but she had the tiny torso. Yeah. Very so, spidery body. Oh no, Look at what, what I we found no. the other day. <laughs> Look at this. This no, is the no. sickest she's she's room. Our Saturday She's special. a huge Trump supporter. Can you tell us why you're at CPAC today and who you're excited to see? <laughs> well, of course, I'm so excited to see the great Steve Bannon. But my name is Lila Hart. I'm here at CPAC to promote the movie me and my husband, Eric Abenante, made called American <clears throat> History of Voter Fraud. You guys can find it at oh lilahart.com slash documentary. Was the 2020 <laughs> election stolen? <laughs> Any doubt in your mind about yeah. that? Yeah. She used to be at the comedy store all the time, and she was roommates with our friend uh, Mike. Yeah, yeah, and Menendez. Yeah, Menendez. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just we found that the other day. We we're like, oh my god! Like she used to always be in the house. Joey used to say that she looks like she walks on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, old old morality. Joey doesn't like that now. Joey uh, hates that because he's a good man. I would never say you're that. You're a, good, you're a good, disabled good, woman. You're a good Catholic. Disabled. You're a good Catholic. Trump's going to shoot her out of a cannon when he wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was worried about getting into this, but I'm like, Dad, you're a Trump supporter. Ah, it's fair game, minute. <laughs> This is the only thing that's made me uncomfortable. About. I didn't hey, it's, it's weird. Hey, it's weird. Me too. And what Devin is falsely accusing me of a fool. Moving on, moving on. Oh, really? I guess you guys like kids in cages. <laughs> and they'll mistake her for a kid, and she'll be in a cage soon. I say we stick with it for a second. Bring it back. <laughs> there's that's it. There's bring, nothing bring else. Bring that little, bring that little Trump supporter no, back. There's yeah. nothing else. She there's legitimately, nothing. yeah, could be put in a cage accidentally. She could easily because I think she's some weird twelve year old. Yeah, or an yeah. aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious. Throw some, uh, throw some crickets in there. <laughs> Give her a fake, a little rock and a stick. A stick, some moss, a heat lamp, a heat lamp. <laughs> yeah, because she's cold blooded. I can't she's cold not blooded. Do the bit. I know it's horrible. I'm, I'm a real mean spirited guy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really, I'm, 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 re- I'm reaching for, for limbs. I, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to get anything. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I would never make fun of her. But then it's like, you know, you're talking about voter fraud. It's like, yeah, making fun. a voter fraud movie. Your voter fraud movie. Which is even the weirder thing is like, she's probably doing it just for like entertainment reasons. It's all for yeah. like, yeah, just Which like, is like, if you were just like mentally retarded and you're like, no, there's, they stole the vote. Right. I'd but be like. You know, whatever. Yeah, it's her new, instead, it's her you're new exploiting angle. this so you yeah, can get it's her new likes angle. or to whatever. Try to, to try to get in. And I'm not exploiting her for, you know, likes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anything of the sort. I just want people to know how savage I am. Uh, I mean, right. I, I figured after I already made that Patton Oswalt joke that I'm like, all right, I guess. <laughs> right, well, uh, <laughs> let's let's, let's start, blow these door hinges let's off. Let's start blowing <laughs> shit up. <laughs> Scorched earth. I'm in a weird mood lately, folks. <laughs> Her voicemail right now is filling up with calls from uh, uh, Guillermo uh, del Toro. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. God. You know, she she grew up on that uh, island from the King Kong movie. (laughs) God, I go to the island. There's like there's like six hundred of her. (laughs) Yeah. The palm of her hand has an eye in it. <laughs> King Kong just like they're biting his legs. They're all they're all attacking him. Uh, she's. You just come home after a long day. She's crawling up the wall like Spider Man. We can't release it. 
We literally can't even release this. <laughs> Why? This is sick. <laughs> we, oh, because the Lila Hart fans are going to attack us? Oh, no, they know her name. You already said it. Well, you showed no, her. It. Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. And you showed, showed, her. showed her face. And she said, my name's Lila no, Hart. she's a dirty oh, racist yeah. Trump Whatever. supporter. Exactly. Right. I'm doing this because I fucking am sick of racism. Also, it is, it is very funny. <laughs> we used to hang out at Mike's house all the time. Like, we'd yeah. go over there for Thanksgiving. You're trying to fuck all of us all the time. It's a horny word, and I won't even go into how horny, but quite weirdly horny. Not good. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, you, didn't, even say you it. didn't fuck her, did you? I would never. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, no. I mean, yeah. I would. I, 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 I almost said I would never, but then it's like, is that? Yeah. But You're anyway, like, never it. say never. Yeah. Be like fucking a bag full of rakes or something. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't do it personally. But anyways, so but it's we like go fucking uh, <laughs> like a. Like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> Hellboy's sidekick is uh, sucking me off uh. at, at Mike Menendez's house. Um, but uh, no, but she, it was, she was just. A- <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> but we, but we would go over there, and she would just be like a character at the house, and yeah. she was like seemed normal. No, I didn't know she was and like so, Steve so- Bannon's mascot. <laughs> <laughs> now she was like hanging out with Steve, but it's yeah. very weird and funny actually. <laughs> You just be spinning webs in the corner of the ceiling yeah. at Mike's house while you guys hung out. A web that says MAGA, like Charlotte's web. <laughs> yeah. Come on, hey, come down. The pig is racist, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, damn. You know, fuck. I am beat red right now. <laughs> I know that was a lot, but it's like, listen, we gotta get something out of the fact that we don't hang out. And I don't go to the comedies anymore. I That's don't see true. These people, so yeah. I'm gonna start making fun of them, looking like spiders. And there are a couple comedians who just went full. <laughs> MAGA. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of secret MAGA. Well, she's, comics. A, she's a documentarian now. So Chase is looking at me of... like, a lot of secret <laughs> MAGA oh, no. comics. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You're like, this isn't red, it's salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm colorblind. I thought this was blue. I thought this was a beautiful blue for Democrats. <laughs> for the Dems. As my coworker says, the Demorats. The Dem- <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Last night, it was so funny. Damn Demorats. Yeah, damn Demorats trying to fuck all these kids. God. Uh, you really, it's funny. Like, you been- you, you, every job Jace has, he like works in LA, but he's somehow around mm-hmm. like Appalachian people. I work in that bar from our bed earlier somehow. <laughs> it's just like, like I'm leaving like liberal LA, just like trans kids and like clowns everywhere. And yeah. Then, Fucking, I just go into a coal mine where somebody's like, damn, Demorats trying to put breast implants in my daughter's ass. <laughs> they want to hand out free crack pipes. <laughs> I saw, literally, yeah, literally just being like, I drove past a homeless person today. I hope they get shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I've had bosses who have told me they sleep with a loaded gun under their That's pillow. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are we living talking in like about? Sherman Oaks and like a nice, like right. big you know, blocked off neighborhood. Just like have to pretend they're like fucking like dirty hairy or yeah. something. Yeah. Like like just big fat retarded guys with like the rubber wedding ring because they got too fat for their original mm-hmm. ring. Mm-hmm. So they have like the the black graphite ring now. It's an ice pop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead, make my day, yeah. Demorat. Make my day. I can't walk up two stairs. <laughs> make. I can't wait to get in a situation where I have to kill for my family. Damn Demorat! <laughs> like everything wrong in your life is because of yeah. a group that you've ne- you don't even yeah. they, they don't affect you whatsoever. Really. Yeah. My third heart attack because of them Demorats. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Putting cholesterol in my steaks I eat every morning. <laughs> If Lila Hart keeps flirting with Steve Bannon, it's going to be my fourth on the set. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jace, do you know anything about this Andrew Tate dipshit? Yeah, he's apparently he's, uh, he's huge fucker. all of a sudden. So, yeah, out of nowhere, huge. Well, I heard like, he was a CIA asset. Really? On, I just saw that on Twitter, but I, I didn't see, research I say it. that about anyone I don't like now. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, I, I, I hate CIA this guy asset. not because I'm, I'm trying to be a hero. But I am. No, he's just off-putting. He's an off-putting guy. No, I just he's I, he's not even like funny or interesting. Like I I just like he's so. I agree. And his entire like, audience is twelve-year-olds. I know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even like I don't. I, I hate that he even made it into any kind of conversation. It's like Logan Paul and and you know if he didn't have any, you know, worthwhile 
He's like uh like Jordan Peterson for like eat like bros. Yeah. Like, yeah. like he's like if like Jordan Peterson was like trying to like, you know, tell people like that you should violently intimidate your girlfriend into like giving you a blumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's Tucker Max Jordan Peterson. It's Tucker yeah, Max Jordan yeah, Peterson. Yeah, yeah. That's Hybrid. perfect. Yeah, I, hope yeah, they, yeah. I hope they make their bed in hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suck my dick under the sheets. Or I'll fucking I'll You've got it. to go to the strip club and get a blumpkin. <laughs> If you don't suck this Dutch oven up in one sniff. <laughs> 12 rules for life. Number one, be sucking my dick. <laughs> Number two, swallow, bitch. <laughs> Guys who've never gotten pussy ever. Yeah. God. Well, I guess this is him talking about getting banned from Instagram. Yeah. His dad was, by the way, very high up in the CIA. Apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. His dad was like a CIA operative. And apparently I saw online, I didn't research this at all. He got busted for sex trafficking. And then within like a month, he got like busted by the CIA is what I saw online. Didn't research at all. Within like a month, his videos are just everywhere. Yeah, the right. Algorithm. They're like promoting them because he's got access to the fucking. Yeah. To what end? I have no idea. I just, yeah. I hear CIA asset and I run with it because mm. I just like that. I so. buy it. Interesting. I wonder what would the CIA's reason be for promoting this guy? trying to make cooler kids they're just like come on like these fucking kids they don't even fucking come on your faces anymore <laughs> CIA's like we're just gonna a fucking country of cucks <laughs> get... when's the last time somebody did a donkey punch in this fucking country <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys in suits in a dark boardroom somewhere my grandson won't even Harry Houdini a bitch <laughs> I asked him if he angry pirated somebody. He said he didn't know what that <laughs> meant. Sickening. Sickening. <laughs> Makes me sick. <laughs> At Bohemian Grove on the pa on the pamphlet, they're like, Dirty Sanchez, yeah. number one. <laughs> yeah. Number two, Blumpkin. I raped five girls at MTV Spring Break. I don't even know that world anymore. J. Edgar Hoover's just like, release tape. <laughs> You out of a big cage. Yeah, he lets him out of a cage. <laughs> they, they used to do it all. <laughs> like Wolverine breaking out yeah. of a... Nookie. Yeah, just grabs the nearest CIA guy and rips his yeah. head off. <laughs> Nookie by Limp Bizkit is playing. <laughs> yeah, break shit. <laughs> break shit! <laughs> He's break your fucking face tonight, yeah. bitch woman! <laughs> he goes, he goes uh, I don't think there were enough rapes at Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> Release tape. Re release the tape. <laughs> release the tape. <tate. laughs> they go, Just do you know how many upper decks of toilets are completely clean? <laughs> <laughs> release tape. <laughs> we've, we've kept Tate in this cage underground playing hot dog water and the chocolate starfish for 30 years. <laughs> Sniffing nothing but Jankum. He's ready to go. He's been eating billabong bracelets for decades. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Tell Stryker to release the Tate. Yeah. <laughs> release Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, right. just with a case of uh, Axe body spray. Yeah, just, <laughs> just yeah, chugging that's the, steam. <laughs> that's the steam as he walks out. <laughs> just a, just a that's ten, the cryo fog. Yeah, yeah, 10, 12 year olds who don't want to shower after PE. It's the Axe body spray commercial where all the women are chasing the guy, but then it cuts away and they're all running away with bruises. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like, like you, like he's like accused of like human trafficking. Yeah, yeah. Like rape. No, he's literally like my advice is like beat your girlfriend. Yeah, like he'll, he'll like say shit like that. Well, have you seen this video? It's no, I haven't watched most of his fucking stuff. Fucking fucked up. I mean, it's a lot of people say it's like it's it's like a kink thing, and these are hired. But I don't even care. This is like insane. I watched this the other day on Reddit. Look uh -huh. at this. Is this going to get us banned? By the way, that, no, no, that, no. There's like nudity. With no, there's not. Don't play this. No, there's no. I, you, you sent this to us. No, there's not nudity. Like she shows her ass and shit with a bikini on. It's not her actual ass. Is this an underage girl? No, uh, no, no. no, but it's it's just a girl. That he's but like she a, shows he's her like, ass. He's like abusing in a hallway. She's got underwear. Okay, but then there's a girl in the bed who's like think she's got underwear. Okay. Too. Trust me, we've looked. Joe. Trust me, dude. I've watched this. <laughs> you don't think I jacked off of this today? Shut up, dude. No idea. No idea. What he's is he like, doing? He's like, you know that feel like you talking sex with Andrew Tate. He's like, he's like, you know that feeling when you just give a girl a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
dude, my favorite part of sex is icing my knuckles afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. What's your favorite sex toy? A bag of frozen peas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's in, he's in the boxing gym. Just trying to get better at sex, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Work in the speed bag. <laughs> yeah, he's trying gonna... to fuck my old lady a little better. <laughs> <laughs> he's just jabbing a clip. Yeah. <laughs> like cartoon style. <laughs> dude, I don't beat up the pussy. I beat up the woman. <laughs> I beat up the entire woman until she starts convulsing on the floor. Beat That's up the guy. pussy. Right. <laughs> you don't beat up the pussy. You punch that whore in the fucking face. <laughs> Beat up the pussy. I don't even come. I hate sex with women. I can't come until she's foaming out of the mouth. Yeah. He he. When he's about to have sex with a girl, he's like, "Hey, let me put some music on," and then he just plays a uh, change in the House of Flies <laughs> by the Deftones. It's a Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> camp. Floyd Mayweather's cut guy is sleeping in the in the other bed in the hotel. Yeah. He's like he's like a. Uh, I like some mood music. It's like, can be touched, can be stopped, can be removed, can yeah. be dropped. After sex, the girl's talking like that MMA fighter from Liverpool. <laughs> Patty, whatever his name is. Oh, Patty, Patty Pemblet or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought we had a good match. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. Uh, War Machine's calling me from jail. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, War Machine. <laughs> Here, let me patch him in. <laughs> War Machine's like, I just, I like them black and blue, Jack. Like, <laughs> you have to understand, nice. Jack. You have to understand, Jack. I just like them when their face is black and blue. <laughs> Goodbye, Colonel. Goodbye, Colonel. <laughs> instead, instead of going to see Dirk Diggler's dick, he's like, all right, let me see your best shot. Yeah. <laughs> Throw your hardest punch. Now the uh, Colonel tells me you have a great backhand. <laughs> you mind if I see it? <laughs> Thank it's you very much. There's a scene in Boogie Nights where the girl ODs and her nose is bleeding. Yeah. He's like, was it coke? He's like, no. <laughs> we just had sex. We had sex, sex, dude. Normal sex. All right. Go ahead and give Roller Girl your best, your best right hook. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. Look at this. All right. Did he grab a belt? Yeah. I going to beat the out of you. Ugh. Oh. If you behaved, I wouldn't have to hit you, would I? You don't. Get out. God, that accent just makes him sound so smart, though. Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst one. This is, like, insane. And I, don't, I don't even care if this is, like, a higher... I mean, this is a prostitute, whatever. But the when it gets violent, it's like, I don't... That, yeah, that is not okay. It's not even a kick. That Good is point. not okay with me, okay? What does he do? Watch this, dude. It's crazy. He just like like berates her and then starts beating her. Why is it such good surround sound? I don't know. This is like apparently fucking apocalypse now. <laughs> 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 this I, footage uh, of this guy beating yeah. a hooker on yeah. a bed. He took his iPhone, hooked it up to Dolby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Andrew Tate cuts his hand on a mirror uh, later. Why would he hit you? Christian Bale's about to start screaming about the lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You fucking amateur, man. Yeah, you fucking amateur. You and me are fucking dumb professionally. I'm trying to donkey punch this girl. I, I see you walking in my line of sight. You're being a royal cunt. <laughs> He's like holding a golf club or something in bed. Don't say it. English. Proper English. No slow back bullshit. Say it to the camera. That's all I said. Say is it. I said when I, I said tell the camera I beat you when you don't do as I say. I didn't say the word listen. Did, did I say the word listen? Did I say the word listen? Jesus Christ. Whoa. Stupid Ugh. Bitch. I didn't say the word listen. Did I say listen? Did I say listen? Look at the camera. Uh, come on. I don't know. Yeah. I think I get anything, Yeah, I think we get the point. John was saying yeah. this is kink a kink and I'm like well, John, that, there yeah. is well there are like that could be a kink, but it's just so they really creepy they hit him that hard and shit. You can pay a prostitute to beat the fuck out they, of him like that, and like so. So then everything he says in all his videos, he does. He he's definitely doing this. Actually, has bled into his life. Well, you can find crazy. Right? Like if, you, if this is you your can find a media, and every, everything he says, like in on YouTube. Joey, real quick, remember you're Catholic before you. I would never do. I, honestly, I've had chicks ask me to like do uh, like crazy stuff like that. I would never do it. I do like, you know, I don't even want to say, but like very <laughs> light stuff where there could never be any damage. 
<laughs> but there are there are crazy <laughs> girls out there that love stuff like that. Okay, I don't even care if this is just not it's re- real. I mean, it's, it's obviously like, why would there be a guy filming this if it wasn't for some sort of kink right, thing? Exactly. But but it's the fact that this even exists and there's already rumors of like him, the, the human trafficking and rape and shit mm-hmm. like that and the what way he talks about women. It's like he definitely if he, if he's doing this like out of as like you know a sexual. He's coming off a thing. bit unlikable. He likely has done this realistically. It's yeah, something like about him rubs me the seems wrong like a really, way. Yes, there seems something like a really him. bad guy. Okay, like why can't he just make fun of midgets like we did? <laughs> <laughs> why can't he just beg for pussy on a podcast with a thousand listeners? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think he might not be a good guy. Yeah, and although he does a podcast with no shirt on, hours ago wouldn't let me. That. I take my shirt off. Right I now. have good people in the case. I trust due process with Instagram. I'm actually quite understanding due of process their process with Instagram. I do understand it very, very well. I'm not angry at them in any regard. Uh, it's not a big loss for me. It's not something I use too often. But I do understand their position because we're actually living in a world now where it's kind of strange. This is an unprecedented period of human history. Mm. And we have you can, internet sensationalism, smart. global sensationalism mm. on a scale. You can women with impunity, it's, but you get it's also good. Instagram. Instagram. It's good because you never hear this on a podcast. No, all. you've never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you saber, saber tooth has been hunting me since my release. <laughs> he goes, Striker hates me because I've gone rogue. <laughs> saber tooth. <laughs> he goes, They put me full of this metal garbage. Yeah. <laughs> There's a gay guy throwing cards at me. Magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> to edit things so quickly, right? So you can say something on a stream and they can remove all context, or you can say something and they can change the tone of your voice, or you can I've say seen, something. I, he yeah, goes from like British to Philly. Times, yes. I know. I don't know what he is. He's like, they can change the tone of your voice. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I have no idea what he's doing. He's from Liverpool and Delco proper, <laughs> uh, like apparently at the same time. I have no clue what's happening with him. Exactly. And then what they can do is they can throw that in front of a hate mob and then internet sensationalism can take control and people can start to believe in narratives which are false and then people have to take some kind of action against that. So I understand all these things. I understand that with great power and great influence like, where comes great He's like about to quote Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say, Richie? No, I was just going to say, he switches in and out. You can hear right there, like, he goes into just sounding American when he's yeah. just like, and then you go over there. Yeah. I mean, this isn't even interesting. He just, I, he's just, I don't know. I just keep, I, I kept hearing his name like a week ago. Didn't he fall out of his car well, or something like that? Uh, apparently, the, the disturbing thing is just what I've seen online is apparently 12-year-olds, like, actually, like, love the guy. Really? Like, I've heard from, like, anecdotally, too, like, people, like, who teach in schools are, like, 12-year-olds are like, yeah, I love Andrew Tay. Like, he tells women, like where to like to be put in their place and stuff like that mm-hmm. so apparently like i mean he does like have a foothold and like right right you know the 4chan well, tucker max like the old tucker max audience is now andrew tate actually right it seems like do you yeah. think the cia if he is cia they're releasing him they're, they released him from his cage to like uh to to uh add some weight to the other side of the culture war where it's like you know like kids are becoming too like you know tra- they're teaching trans stuff in schools and yeah. this and that and like like to make it a little more like um uh, to instill more uh traditional male female well i think uh, that's tactics i think that's part of if this if like and i don't even know if i do believe this but if the cia does like have, have guys like this him, yeah. I think it's literally to just like generate like dissent within the community. You know, it's like that thing. Right. What's the quota? They got you fighting a, a, a culture war to keep you from fighting a class war, that type of thing. Like mm-hmm. just yeah. generate dissent and confusion and, you know. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah. what they've done in wars forever. It's what they've done right. with other countries, you know. Right. Just trying to use like media to distract right. people. Right. Yeah. Just, just like, you know, Andrew Tate comes in, he, he gets really popular for a couple years and then like, uh, you know, the, there's like a 12 year old that gets up and like beats the shit out of his teacher because she's like, you know, talking about yeah. like a race theory or like yeah, yeah. whatever. She won't the, suck his dick. Because yeah. it's like every day for the last year he's been like, yeah, because he wants, she won't suck him up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the CIA could also have like Lena Dunham as an asset. You know, they could just right. be doing right. people yeah. on both sides. Yeah. You know, and then it's like a, it's a big like Mortal Kombat battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Tate just dressed like fucking uh, Scorpion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throwing Lena Dunham off the yeah. thing. Get over here. She falls on all the spikes. Yeah. yeah. Get over here. But he just throws his belt around her. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make me read Anne Frank's diary, Lena. <laughs> Fuck you. Andrew Tate kids. I wonder if like uh, kids love Andrew Tate. Andrew, Do we have another a- Andrew Tate kid? Yeah, 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 it's just Andrew Tate convincing a virgin to fuck him. Um, <laughs> like the beginning of. Oh, days. shit. He has a gay son. Oh, good for him. Interesting. Let's Correct. listen to that real quick. What would you do? Two questions. Oh, it would be oh, what? Do. I'm actually. Oh, if. What? Is what it would it? you do if you have a child and you have a daughter? I'd love to have a daughter. Why would I? I'd fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'd punch her. Okay. Um, how would you raise your daughter? Violently. He's like, I only reason I'd have a daughter is because I don't have enough money to afford a punching bag. <laughs> that is a good question. First, I'd get a meat hook. Because <laughs> I only feel qualified to talk about how to be as successful as possible as a man. Because I am one. And I've lived a life as a man. I think whichever woman I trust to have a daughter with, I would trust oh. her to be in charge of the mindset what of the daughter. So I'd say, obviously, I respect you because I chose to have a kid with you wife or whoever you are then i want our daughter to be like you so what will make her like you and i i think the woman would be more in charge of that because she understands how to guide a female mind better than i perhaps would okay uh another question but if that doesn't work i'll um, beat the shit out of yeah, him he's like wife whatever first, first grade class uh, you're in currently how would you react to that yeah, uh, it wouldn't bother me. I don't think I'd really care. I don't. I will never accept a degenerate member of my family. So hmm. I don't want any kind of... It doesn't matter if he's straight. It doesn't matter if he's gay. As long as he's got his head screwed on and he's working hard and he's living a good life and he's doing good things, you know, then that's fine. If they're going to say, no, I take drugs now and I only do this and I run around and I don't care about anything else, that's fine. But I don't think that's anything to do with sexual orientation. As long as they're not degenerate, as long Tate's as they're head arc, screwed huh? on, they're a respectable member of society, then yeah. I don't really care what they do. What is, what is the head screwed on thing? I mean, does he not know mm. how people are born? Their heads are on their head. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> right, folks? Good rebuttal. Right? I got you, Andrew Tate. Fuck you. <laughs> totally worth that clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It is uh, steamy. Yeah, here. it's very that steamy. It's a scorcher. Yeah. It's the dog days of summer, you know? Goddamn right, Jace. You are goddamn right. It's hotter than a dog out there. What's every woman up to? Fuck clips. Fuck the... We, we've watched enough. Hate watch. What gives a shit? <laughs> uh, I was at a party last night that David Dobrik was at. He was there? Yeah, he was there. Really? Wait, yeah. at John's party? No, no. <laughs> yeah, David Dobrik somehow was there last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he came Did David Dobrik get canceled? Yeah, and now he has to... That, now he's that's, hanging that, out at that party. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. how low you go. What was he doing? I, I he, he was like, just he was walking like, around. I didn't like, even talk yeah. to him. But you're at you're at Dan Schneider's party. Yeah, I was at yeah I was at a <laughs> Den Entertainment party. They're really <laughs> under the table now. How did uh, how did Andrew know him, or how did he get there? I don't know. It literally was a thing where he was like, "Dude, that's David Dobrik." Mm. And then he also came with his like weird. I don't know the guy like his partner, his business partner, who's also I guess semi famous. He's like old man. Like didn't ev- you- everyone there was in their twenties. Right. They, they were like, full, well, I don't know how old David Dobrik is. This other guy was like 50 years old. Weren't you hanging out with uh, Michael Jordan's nephew, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that guy like? Jeez. Yeah, Hollywood so I don't Richie know over what here. What was going that on kid, last night? Dude. Yeah, Richie Rich. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, that, that, that kid was hilarious, honestly. He's just a fucking pussy hound, and he keeps talking about how, like, uh, I'm trying to remember this story, because when I was talking to him, it was literally the very end of the night. Uh... All right, we'll move on. <laughs> I, I, can't, I literally All right, back to the I, clips. I, I have no space, no space to think for one second. One second. Jesus Christ. Anybody, anybody got anything? Fuck you. All right, back Nothing. to the clips. Nothing? All right, fine. All I guess right. I'll do this podcast gotta, all by my goddamn all right. self. All right, we got a video of a child getting hit by a train in Indonesia. All right, guy pulls gun during road rage. All right, hopefully this you know, really sets things off. <laughs> No, come on. <laughs> Go on, Reggie. <laughs> you, have, you had some time to think during that riff. Come on. 
He was essentially just explaining how he was like, I saw this woman and she was like everything I ever wanted. So I knew like I just I had to marry her. He's on and he, he's only twenty years old at this time. Right. And she's eighteen. And he's like, I just had to marry her. So I did. And then I realized I made a huge mistake and she like won't stop calling me. Like, what is that about? Like, what is her deal? He sounds just like Michael Jordan, to be honest. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, <laughs> no, it's very similar. I guess, yeah, I guess, like, in the, in their family. But he is just, uh, that. like, it was just stories like that of him just, like, not understanding right. why treating people like shit. And they, like, they're just, like, latched on to me. Like, I don't understand it. I married her, and then I don't want to be married to you anymore. Like, we yeah. were young. What's the big deal? Yeah. yeah. This guy should be listening to Andrew Tate videos, I think. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah, he's, but he's like really skinny and sounds slender. just like Michael Jordan. He's like, I was in Vegas. I bet my dad's life on Twenty One Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that. You know, like just how you get your dad accidentally killed under an underpass. <laughs> like, you know, we've like all been, we've all been through that. <laughs> You know, if you like alienate everyone in your life, you just live in a mansion all alone and you watch old Western movies. Yeah, we yeah. all do that. We all do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> just like my why is his name? What's his name? Uh, yeah, I don't know I if don't you want to say it. I don't remember. You don't I, have might, to say I might it. try to get him on. I remember the name. Can I say yeah, it? I mean, you can say it. Wasn't it's it not. Kenny Anderson? Yeah, Kenny Anderson. But isn't that already like a famous NBA Why? player? It's an NBA player. <laughs> that's, that's such Why a rare. Why this poor kid out? You, which we, I mean, uh, no, he wants to be on the podcast. He wants to come on. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to talk to him. All right. Sounds like an interesting guy. I'd love to have this guy on. He looks <laughs> like I watched. I looked at some pictures. He looks like a fucking. Uh, he looks uh, like a, like a. Mm. Like a Carlton reboot or something. <laughs> like he looks like the Peacock NBC version of Carlton. In the, oh, the yeah. Freddy yeah. reboot. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he looks uh, like actually like they like did like a reboot of Carlton. It's not like oh you look like Carlton. Like they did a Carlton reboot and yeah. he looks similar to that guy. No, I saw him. He Andy looks like a like a fucking black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he looks like the dad from Family Matters. <laughs> Weird. The laziest, the guy that's the laziest with lookalikes. They're yeah. all just raised. He's like, yeah, I saw him. He looked like a fucking uh, Danny Glover over here, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, a big sombrero, and wearing a, a a robe. He looked uh, sideways. He looked tan. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Tan. Had a big curly mustache. <laughs> <laughs> big bandolier full of bullets. He How you been, like Jace? <laughs> i've been good you know good yeah all right joey how about you yeah, everything, everything okay over there joe i'll tell you what i did today well did i already say this about the biker bar no 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 we're okay. gonna we're probably gonna end up back there after this aren't we i fucking love we that found place. this new place to hang out at it's like one of those uh i was gonna go to joey's gym he told me like you have to come meet me first that's your payment your payment to get into my gym you have to hang out with me for a little bit well, here's why I said that. So I went, I started walking. I just woke up so hungover. I started walking down through the arts district. And usually I just go to Little Tokyo. But if you go toward the like warehouse district, there's a whole new set of places that you can get hammered at that nobody knows about. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole new set of places <laughs> to get nobody, hammered yeah. at. Nobody knows about it. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I found... <laughs> I found this place that had a, it's like a. <laughs> like they're empty. Yeah. I am imagining like a, one of those TikToks that's like a day in the life of a 23 year old social media manager, but it's just, it's just your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the gym, 5 a.m., found a new bar to get hammered at. <laughs> <laughs> but so I wandered into this place and it, it's a, like a biker bar. So it's like all motorcycles outside and you walk in and it's like banditos. Mm. and everybody's got like a Sturgis motorcycle rally vest on or a t-shirt I mean not a vest and uh, it's like different biker gangs and so I think but they're like hip LA like no no they're like deep Midwest biker gangs eh, I think what like happens is no there was a couple but you, they you for some reason when I was there it was like it was guys always, playing dress there was up. nobody with like a vest bikers and when you got up. there there was not there, there wasn't a single person even wearing a vest yeah Bef when, when I first the guy that fucked me in the bathroom was well, you know when you're at the glory hole, of course they're all they all got vests on. But uh, no, so when I first showed up, it was like a, a bunch of uh, bikers with vests on and stuff. And I, so what, what they do is they go across country. They like to you know drive their motorcycles around. Now I think they just Google like motorcycle bars mm -hmm. and like, all right, let's go to this place. They probably got there and like oh, a bunch of queers. And yeah, because it's not. It's the type of place, Jace, guys, where it's like uh, 
huge bar, cafe. You know, they got the Brussels sprouts, yeah. cauliflower mm-hmm. wings. Then there's people getting tattooed inside. Yeah. There's an entire gift shop. Every downtown bar is like All that. that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like a can, Mr. Like, a Chuck E. Cheese. Makes no well, sense. Yeah. You can buy like a yeah. record. You can get a haircut you in there. You can get a haircut. haircut. Yeah, tattoo. there's like ski ball. No, literally. Yeah. You can, ball, yeah. yeah. And uh, they have like a whole warehouse where they sell motorcycles and stuff uh, in part of it. But uh, so I got there at like 11 a.m. Or, or noon and and then I left at 6 p.m. And I, I was there by myself for like five of those hours. And then uh, I was just sitting there. I didn't say a word to anyone for five hours, which now sounds insanely sad. And weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just kind of let it sit. <laughs> I showed up for an hour or two. I was with you for an hour. Well, no, that's why I asked you to come no, in don't because say, don't no, 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 actually, no one was there. I watched you from yeah. across the street. I go, look at how sad yeah, he is. He's just refreshing Instagram over and over again. Well, Devin goes, you want to go to the gym? And I'm just like, oh, I've been at a biker for the puss bar. to come in. I know I wasn't even trying to get puss. I was just like, I wanted to wallow uh-huh. for about six hours. I swear to God, if I was trying to get puss, I would have talked. I would have been, uh, you know, sexually harassing all the hot chicks. <laughs> that's your move. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's how I, my, yeah, that's how I. But so, <laughs> but so I was sitting there quietly for like so long. I didn't realize how time flies when you're getting hammered. You mm-hmm. know that the old saying, <laughs> the old saying, "Time flies when you're getting hammered." Right. <laughs> the old saying, and you're new to it, so that's why you just figured it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love that saying. But it's a new bar, and the I was like ordered food, and I was looking at motorcycles, and I was like. Whatever, time flew, and I was there for like five hours all of a sudden, and then I just started looking around, and I was I, I said this to you when you got there, I'm like, I think I have a naturally frowning face or something, because I keep noticing that when I look at people and we make eye contact, they frown back to me. Yeah, you kept doing that. It was weird. They were, people frowned oh, at me. Can you, do you think you can do the face? Do you, well, like, no, it's like my neutral face. <laughs> and then they go like this. They're just like, I feel- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they're a French clown. Yeah, like what? what you- <laughs> yeah, they just start crying. Yeah. <laughs> they have a. They're holding a big flower that and, just and then, wilts. And then I, see it. <laughs> I see it, and here's what I do. I go. <laughs> Why do you think I, it's I start Joey? smiling? I, I force a fake smile. I don't know. I have like a uh, resting bitch face or something. <laughs> but anyways, I go. Uh, Devin texts me. He's like, "Let me into your gym. I'm a bum. I, I refuse to pay ten bucks a month for Planet Fitness." <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, "You, can, I'll do it." But you come in here. People are frowning at me. I need them. I need to prove to them that I have one friend at yeah. least. Mm-hmm. You're it's like, I've been waiting for him <laughs> for six hot, hours. I, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> LA time, you know. I go, boy, are you late? I go, I go what happened to 11 a.m., bud? Yeah, you're just co- covered in Miller Lite cans, <laughs> like up to your fucking chest. Boy, are you late? <laughs> like, I ever heard of a watch? <laughs> you couldn't have called? No. Huh? <laughs> Some friend you are. But I was like smoking weed. I kept going to the bathroom and outside and like I had a weed pen on me and I kept smoking weed and getting higher and higher and my my kept getting more paranoid about my frown causing face. And then uh so I was finally just like I go, I need to prove to them that I have one friend so that I can come back here. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so I said, Devin, I'll give you my keys. Just come in here though. Sit by me for like five seconds, give you the keys. We'll make them look at us. We'll shake hands, make it clear that we're friends, and then go. And then Devin's such a degenerate, he ends up just staying and drinking. He doesn't even go to the gym. <laughs> He's like a lazy... Well, I knew it was well, over. It already came... took forever to find fucking parking so I could come make you not look like Travis Bickle, you well, sick. You didn't even know why I was Well, it was asking. also funny, your original plan, like, they just think you were like, take my keys, I'm going to drive home or something. No, like no, no. My plan in. was just to be like, hey, buddy, like, oh, you need the keys to go into the gym because we oh, work out together all the time. <laughs> you're going to laugh. Got, we're Lisa. friends and we work out. <laughs> and like, I have all kinds of friends. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah and I you do. know, this is my one day a year I go out drinking. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> but normally we're at the gym every day. <laughs> it's my one day a year. <laughs> I go, anyways, so you know ladies, it's the see one you, Saturday See you next year, year on this date. <laughs> on this date to drink the only time. <laughs> but I went there and I sat there for so long that uh, one of the uh, bartenders uh, goes, 
I was only there for like five hours at this point. And she goes, she's like, you've been here for eight hours. And I go, you're right. And I'm claiming squatters rights. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, I, I'm going to, I'm going to sleep on that couch. For, and, and she's kind of got nervous for a second. Yeah, yeah. And she was just like, huh? I, I go, and I have a very good lawyer. <laughs> I go, you can't get, I go, after eight hours, you can't get rid of me. <laughs> and, uh, and then she was like squirting. I, they had to ask her to leave because there was like too much squirt. It's a restaurant. So yeah, yeah. Like no, the there was a, they had to mop it up. I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> it was like her water broke. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, she like, goes, "Oh, my pussy exploded." <laughs> That's what she says. Oh, yeah. And then the front of her pants, like a frag grenade, just unfolded and sprayed everywhere. And they're like, "Sir, you, if you're gonna make chicks squirt like that, you gotta get out of here." And I, I was like. Kick her out. She's the one squirting. <laughs> and so they threw her out. Maybe that's why everybody was frowning at you, because they were just coming when they looked at you. <laughs> yeah, they were, it was O-Face. Yeah. what they were they're making. Like, they're like, they're like, this asshole's making me come at a fucking bar. <laughs> <laughs> All my biker friends are going to think I'm gay, because I'm covered in cum. <laughs> My Wranglers. Stop looking at me like that. It's going to cook inside my jeans while I ride my har my hog. Because <laughs> the motorcycles get very hot. Yeah, it would cook the cum. It would. I've yeah. been sitting. I've been sitting with Joey. I've been sitting with Joey at many a bar counter lately. Mm. As he's, he's first of all. But before you even go seven, on for eight one eight second, in. Devin gets us uh, kicked out of places all the time. No, no, not true. Not anymore. Oh yes, oh, all the time. Not anymore. You're you're like heavily Joey, obnoxious. Joey uh, was. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, you were lately, trying to hit up lately. Who said better behavior? Uh, last night, who had better behavior? I didn't do who anything was, last night. What do you but who was like night? more? If you had to pick, oh, you were you were if you, had, you had better behavior Thank last you. night. But in Seattle, and if anybody saw it, I don't see Seattle. Let me get me started, Rich, on you. <laughs> you were at the we were we were at Art City the other day. That was a mess, Jerry. Do you remember when we were at Art City last week and you were at the bar? <laughs> okay, get it out. Go ahead. We were. Uh, I wasn't even going to make fun of you. Go really. ahead. It was going to be like a flattering story. Oh, and please, now I feel please. like I'm going to make it more. No, do, a, do the flattering one. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bluff. Yeah. I was bluffing. Called his bluff. But you were trying Let to, me hit, do on, one you were trying to hit on that waitress at, the, at Art City. Oh, by the way, I, did, I killed it. I killed my, Here's what happened. You kept asking her like inane questions just to keep her there. You're like, what's the uh, time? I go, wait, I go, what? Wow. <laughs> and I was just like, uh, when did the. Uh, like, is it Wednesday? When did the bar open? <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, she's like, like I, I just started uh, here. I go, oh, okay. You know. <laughs> yeah, you were just looking for anything. I go, the liquor license? Is that, is there the permit? How does that work? Yeah, and she was just going like, um, I, I have a lot of people wanting drinks, right? <laughs> and, What's your, uh, your favorite that, color? You look like a blue yeah. girl. And then, blue? Yeah. <laughs> you were like, is this tile? Or? <laughs> What's the who's the general contractor for all this uh, <laughs> conduit in? It's great conduit. What work. do you know about the Dominion voting machines? Yeah. <laughs> the sound system is that Bose? Yeah, I'm looking for an HVAC guy. It seems to do pretty good. You know him? <laughs> Are you guys worried about asbestos? <laughs> but I was blowing it so heavily. First of all, no, I think I was like about to pick up steam, but then Devin again sabotages me because mm -hmm. he can't stand to see his friend like get puss, and that's what he's. <laughs> He's doing on the Devin? podcast. No, yeah. no, not a no. If, if Joey was ever actually on on his way to getting one of these bartenders, I wouldn't do anything. Before. One of these bartenders? That was like the first time I tried we to bang a bartender. We went to Spitz that one time, too, and you just kept uh, getting right. shot down. That was two, though. Like a two total that I've I noticed tried. that bartenders I never, with tattoos. I never even talked to bartenders. Barten these, these two bartenders both had tattoos. Like, like they, don't, they don't have any time for, for your shenanigans. Yeah. Well, I, I usually James, never. There, there was like two bartenders that I've even tried to talk to. Go to, um, what was that place called that we just left? Shed bike, bike bike shed bike brew bike shed bike shed company bike shed in the arts district. I sat there for six hours, <laughs> politely, quietly mm -hmm. masturbating in my pocket. <laughs> I didn't say a word. Of course, <laughs> I cut. A, I right. simply cut a hole in my pocket mm -hmm. and I jacked off like a gentleman. It was yeah, polite. Yeah. <laughs> that was polite. But you have your you have your big jacket you put on and tuck your arms <laughs> yeah. in so nobody can see. I built a fake arm. <laughs> <laughs> He built a fake arm. Like a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Out like this. It was my, it's a, it's a, it's a Brendan Walsh joke. Inspector Gadget of jabbing yeah. off. <laughs> it's a Brendan Walsh joke, but it's one of my favorites where he, he's like, I tie a string to my dick and then the other end to my toe so I can just tap my toe and jack <laughs> off. <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but. Uh. 
So, yeah, no, I was like about to, you know, this chick was falling in love with me, and Devin starts just openly laughing at my attempt. <laughs> like he can't Where? even what help. Was this, no, today? at the uh, arts district. Oh, yeah, like you were literally yeah. laughing at me and just being like, because well, you, you kept idiot. doing this. You kept Joey kept doing like this. He was holding the side of his head, and he goes like, "Can I have um, uh, a be- beer?" Uh, What's what's your favorite? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was like oh, out of a I was, scene yeah. in a movie where I was a like, guy is like, "What do I say?" I was swooning. No, I was like, <laughs> I had butterflies. Uh, I was like, I, I wanted to whittle something out of wood, like a statue of her. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, women love when you whittle something for them. Yeah. Have you ever carved a beautiful statue for a woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're just like, hey, I've been staring yeah. at you for six hours, and yeah. I made this. I made this. It's covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> you you hand it to her, but she has huge anime tits, <laughs> <laughs> like gigantic Jessica Rabbit proportions. But if you whittled like a perfect one that looked just like her, do you think the chick would be like, all right? I think whittling specifically is a little creepy because it's got the knife element to it. Knives are creepy. Yeah. yeah, that means you've been under the counter with a knife. <laughs> but what about a job? <laughs> it's like insane. <laughs> yeah. You should you should hit on women on the bar by eating an apple with a big pocket knife, <laughs> eating off the knife. But what if it's made out of like stone? Yeah. Like it's a you've been chiseled. If you get yeah. a, a drawing, a drawing out of your sketchbook. Right. I feel like that's, that's a little better. Say like okay. I drew this for you. Yeah. And, and it's, it's her, just a picture her. of a guy with a monster cock <laughs> getting sucked yeah. off yeah. by someone yeah. that looks it's a lot the, like her. Yeah. It says it says me pointing yeah. at the guy. It's that black you. dude. It's the picture of that black dude that was getting passed around, but Joey's face. Yeah. <laughs> her her like squirting across over your head. <laughs> it's a photorealistic uh, lemon party. <laughs> Like I, it's, I drew it's, your face inside of Goatsy's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been featured on Monsters of Cock. I just want to throw that out there. But so, anyways, I'm like about to win her over, and Devin starts laughing at me, ruining my attempt. The chick stops masturbating. She puts her pants back on. Right at the bar, it was insane. It was the rush. She's too. flicking her bean. Right. Well, she's got to wash her hands to go serve customers. Exactly. After she's that. Like, All right, I'm yeah. gonna go wash my hands. I'm gonna go dip my hands in that big sink we got. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So then, but then, so my big strategy to win her back, I'm sitting there and I'm like humiliated. Devin's like laughing at me. This is in mm-hmm. real life now. Mm-hmm. Devin's like laughing at me, and I'm sitting there just going like, "Fuck, fuck." Also high again and drunk, and so I'm like an idiot, and I finally go. I'll use my best, strongest weapon, my greatest goof that I have, Mm -hmm. the WMD of, uh, you know, my goofs. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the greatest goof of all time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And so I go, hey, I I do another one where I go, hey, I got to do, but real quick, before I order, I go... My, I have to tell you legally, my friend's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did that. And she that did is like a it. What's I've actually seen that. insane is how little people care about that. But she liked lately. it though. Yeah. D- d- be honest. No, no, she liked it. But I'm actually, th- I'm shocked because I'm always like, oh god. And then every time you do it, people are like, there's no kids in here. Well, like they honestly don't. Tell, they, I could be a pedophile. She like, could they don't tell by how care. we were doing it that you weren't a real pedophile, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But, yeah. well, I'm know. too hot to be a pedophile. You know? No, fucking not, not sexy. You could be a hot pedophile. Is there yeah. hot pedophiles? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> well, that fuck. There goes my fucking. <laughs> Your cover. I can't be. Don't cover for me. I, I just heard a, a pickup line. I thought was really good. You could probably use. Go. This is like a real. I, I heard it from a, a lady. Told me that she got this pickup line once. It was okay. just. Uh, I'm gonna memorize this. You from go. Uh, Tate. This is from Andrew Tate. No, it's actual like woman friend that I have. Can you believe it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I have a woman as a friend. Oh what a, what a dumbass! Very crazy. Good. I know. Richie was about to go. You don't let her drive. Do no, I do not. <laughs> I don't want to lose my life. <laughs> so he's asked, tell me to get directions. Like shut up before you the back of my hand you yeah, dumb before cunt. you dumb hated <laughs> stay in the trunk stay in the trunk my friend my friend love you <laughs> 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 no but she said a guy once um, like on Los Feliz Boulevard was just riding his bike and he stopped he came back and he goes hey, he goes hey I know it's a crazy question um, do you do you like oysters okay. and she was like I love oysters he goes there's a really good oyster bar down the street I'd love to take you to get oysters sometime. And she was like, well, I, you know, I, I'm seeing someone, but uh, I'm flattered. Thank you very much. So she said that was a good pickup line. She liked that. She said she I, liked that because number one, it's, it's polite. 
it's asking somebody on a real date. And it's kind of sexual without being sexual. Right, because yeah. the oysters, the aphrodisiac. They they're look like fan, pussies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they feel like pussies. Right, right. I would ruin it like, like, going like... She really yeah. liked that. She liked that, yeah. I'd end up going like, you know... She'd be like, I, I'm seeing somebody. I go, really? <laughs> it's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd, she'd, be, she'd start walking faster. And, and I ride my bike. I go... Where are you going, Chimitis? <laughs> yeah. Like I said an aphrodisiac. Do you know what that means? Do you even know what that means? I like to walk along. I go to s- it makes you want yeah, sex. You would go <laughs> Yeah, you would go uh, What don't you get about this? You would go, uh, you like oysters and she goes, Yes, and you go, I would love to uh, take you to my apartment and fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> You and me one night. I do have the. I've heard of somebody doing that before. Like the idea of like, hey, listen, I'm going to cut the horse shit. I'm a guy. You're a girl. I could do some weird, stupid pickup line. You'd hate it. You'd reject me. It's late at the night. I'm going to throw a crazy hail mary. What if you and me go back to my place and have the craziest sex of all time? Dude, did it work? Yeah, no, no, dude. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't have pickup lines. I just like to like. I walk across the street from them at night with my hood up, <laughs> and I, f- I make sure I'm at the same exact pace as them. And right. I, I just, I, and my hands are in my pockets, and one yeah. of them's kind of sharp. Like it looks like maybe something's like in there. Something, yeah. And then I just keep going. Hey! <laughs> hey! You're beautiful. <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, because I have some in my in my in my in my truck. <laughs> I, I go, um, I go, hey, did it hurt? And they go, did what hurt? You go when I fucking beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I go when we fuck in my apartment. Do I, go, go, when I hog tie you and throw you in this van. Uh. <laughs> Did it hurt? Are you, are you from Nashville? Because I'd love to just fuck you in the back of my Kia. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, should we go over to the Patreon? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Thanks, folks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, join us over at uh, Patreon. Do we have anything going dot on? Com slash. Hate Watch Podcast. What do you mean? Anything going on? What are you talking about? Is yeah, that... we got our dates. Uh, uh, Des Moines, no, Iowa. Dates. Uh, I don't know. Just other stuff we got going on. I would like to apologize to everybody. I don't know. For what? Just this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Same. Yeah. But that's oh, it. yeah. I just want to real quick. I want to I want to admonish myself. And just be like, I'm sorry if you, if anything was uh, you didn't like. I, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's nice. You ever realize that you're yeah. sorry if anyone is yeah. friends with the with the, the, the creepy crawly that we made fun of in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry to kidding, the all kidding, real kidding, monsters kidding. lady. I feel sorry, bad for sorry her. Sorry to it's Michael funny. Jordan's just, nephew. Yeah. I would never and, have said uh, anything like that, but you're you're fucking you're. you're I recently you're at Trump realized rallies. it's a fair game. We're making this worse, by the way. But I recently realized that I seventy five percent of what I say now is apologies to people. Mm. Yeah. Literally, total. My whole out 20s, of the words. All my twenties were spent waking up the next day and just being like, "I." People telling me like I should say sorry to somebody. Yeah, I, my uh, whole twenties. I proof. I proofread so many apologies. That's it. It's nonstop. My Facebook He's like, messenger. What do you think of this? Will this work? My whole Facebook messenger is just like, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. mean what I said last night. <laughs> Most not, not the girls. Girls love me, no, and they yeah, call yeah, me, yeah, and they you know they. Devin's they like, sorry, I called you the K word again. Yeah. Jew. She, Devin's is all right. like anti-Semitic. Stuff. Can I? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Most of my twenties <laughs> were spent going like, Devin should really apologize to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's always like, I'll I'll pay for the window. I'm sorry. Like, don't worry. Like, I didn't. You know, it was an. Accident. Um, yeah, yeah. Your mother's vase. Sorry, I said your pussy well, smells like smoked salmon. <laughs> I, I what did you mean, Richie? Do we have anything to shout out at? Uh, I don't know. I was just thinking. You know, uh, I guess I, I, I hate know. to put Joey on the spot. I, the whatever happened to the fight? I don't fucking know. Our friend died. Yeah, a lot, Andrew a lot of Mamiya hit me up on uh, Instagram, and he he goes, "What happened to the fight?" And I was like, "We got sidetracked. We we're busy." I'll do it, but here's the thing. I can't do it by myself. I need, like, uh, you know, we got to get somebody to film. We got, you know, we got to get a gym. So, so it's a big, it's a production. I don't know if we honestly... I'll do it. If we, 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 if made, we get it set up, I'll fucking do it in five seconds. We made the goal 1000 I'll do it tomorrow. The budget is much higher than $1,000. Yeah, get us to three. Well, we can't do that to these people. No, I'm just saying. It would, uh, I'm, it, that's the truth. 
It is, but well, we'll, we'll, we made a promise. We'll get back in the swing of things soon. We'll, no, no, I'm just we'll saying. Start, we'll start actually getting serious listen, about that. We were, we no. were making some progress, and then we're all, going to everything stick started to falling our down. Word. We're sticking to our word, but it's just going to take a little bit more yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. We had some shit come up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, Patreon.com well, slash Watch Podcast. Join us. Yeah. Check out. Go on the Instagram. There's a shitty Twitter that gets just random retweets of mostly Devin. Check it out. At hate underscore watch. All right, whatever. Goodbye.